something again. I have to admit, honestly, I know that Moody is a bit too heavy. Allowed our 8 kilograms with the carrying bag. And Moody weighs, I thought, 10. He was weighed and there was a woman on the counter that was new. And next to her was someone else. You immediately saw she can't make any mistakes. She has to follow everything. And then Mooney was weight and was 10.7 And then I said, no, he's too heavy, no, that's not possible But the dog of my mother was also with me and she weighs much, much less And so you could balance it out, they first said, no, that's not possible And then they called, I don't know where, I don't know, just called somewhere And said, the other one weighs less, the other one a little more Then they told me, luckily, that's not an issue could go through. I was already internally panicking. It would be my fault, I know, but I always believe in the good and think to myself it has to work out somehow. Sometimes that's completely incomprehensible to me because you can add luggage and everything, but when the dog weighs a little more, it's so bad. I don't know. In any case, I have always been with lucky with the Mooney. He was also weighed, I think, only two times now, and otherwise, they always let them through. So it's always a bit of a game of luck risk. are generally here in Ibiza but that was also a beer shop the airbnb is really nice i have to show you the view again tomorrow it's really crazy it's also really nicely furnished here and all the little details but there is one disadvantage first of all the positive it's so clean in here 
where it was really easy to find. The host showed me directly via WhatsApp where the Airbnb is, um, with video and all, and gave me all the tips. That was really nice, and the downside is that it's really cold in here. There is a fireplace, but there is no wood here. There are still warm things here that you can turn on, but when you turn it on, it smells like oil or fuel. Yeah. But before I forgot, we were still at the car rental for about one and a half hours because my bank thought they wanted to want add yours for deposit. No, that's a bit of a scam for me. And we're just blocking the card now. Thanks for nothing, I had to call there and it all took so long. But somehow it's not worth talking about because in the end it worked, we now have the car. But that was really a torture, it used to be fun for me to fly because that was always a real happening. Now I just think to myself, it's kind of annoying, I don't know. All the stress with getting up, this, that, with waiting, then the whole show again with the people on the plane everyone wants to be first and it's somehow still exhausting and the people so far everything has been so incredibly nice also the people at the car rental in germany you would probably get in a bad mood after 10 minutes maybe they're used to it here too that there's a bit of annoyance with the cards every now and then they were super friendly and all of the holiday makers actually a lot of people helped us with the suitcases would miss a lot in the plane packed it up and when we took the bus from the airport to the car rental um, even though it's just a hand luggage suitcase because they saw we have the dogs with us and stuff it was definitely very dead i would love to undress but it's so cold here I'm probably going to take a shower again in a moment, but now I'm going to eat first. <laughs>
I missed it so much. It's unfortunately still a bit cold to go in the water now. I'm still going to try it out. I didn't expect to end up in such a crazy location. It's so beautiful to feel the sun finally again. The warm, this beautiful sea. It looks really beautiful. Up there is a lost place. It reminds me of Sardinia here. I love Sardinia so much. Tell me if you have ever been to Ibiza. How did you like it? It's so beautiful. I think I'll just have to make another video on the beach. Um, I have another microphone with me so you can hear more of the waves. It's so beautiful. And I just want to share it. Das ist wirklich immer eine Quad. Und wieder hochschleppen. We went straight to the beach. My mother wanted to go to a certain place. I show it to you. But I just forgot how it's called again. Cala de Sela. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it was beautiful turquoise water. I went in with my feet. Mm, I've already seen a woman swim today. But it's really cold. I'm still thinking about jumping in. It's still a must, but it's really cold. Cold. Then we brought back the dogs and went to the city because we wanted to buy some food. I'm looking at how the city was called again. We wanted to go to Lila, but then we went to the city first and we looked at the port. And yeah, that was in San Antonio. That was a cute little town. I was just about to say village, but I guess it's a town. It was really warm in the sun today. It was very pleasant. As soon as you get in the shade, it gets a lot colder. My mother got me something in a pharmacy. Yes, a warm bottle with the sun, moon and stars. So cute. No, there is no sun, just moon and stars. Because it's really cold in here. Because there is no heating. I think I said it before. It's just a stove. It's heated with um, paraffin. Um, yeah, I read that it can also cause the risk of poisoning. But it's running right now because it's really cold in here. So today it's okay. It's not as windy as yesterday. That's why it's totally okay because it's right next to a cliff here. Fortunately, there are a few thick blankets here. And the thing is, I definitely have to. Should I spoil you now? I want to get myself a camper van again, a small one, either when I have the camper van or before that, coming with the car here again. Because you can come here with the ferry. The sad thing is that we're leaving again before Saturday. And I always said, if I ever get to Ibiza, if that ever happens, I really, really want to go to an hippie market. That was really a dream for such a long time. And Saturday is the greatest hippie market here and it was 
like 10 minutes away from here and we're just missing it now and there are no others yet but I hope that there are still few cute shops where I can take a little sweet souvenir with me that's a bit sad but still I'm very very happy to be here and I really enjoy it Why do I look so much fresher here than in Germany? Except for my hair, I didn't take my brush with me because I thought my mother would have taken one with her. Now I brush my hair with the fork and it works. A little bit. My mother actually didn't take any with her either. Ay, ay, ay. That's my outfit. Little mother.
Okay, well, already found the next beautiful bay here. We were on two beaches where it says dogs are forbidden, but you always see a lot of other dogs on the beaches too. On one we drove away, and now here on the other are some dogs. We first had ours on a leash, and then two dogs sprinted at our dogs. And maybe the dog owners are that among you. If one dog is on the leash and the other is not, he's always a bit louder on the leash. And they came directly and apologized to me, but that wasn't an issue. I know how it is when the dog sprints. There was a German couple, and I directly asked a little bit because I was very interested in how it is here in summer. They also said it's really like oil sardines or like sardines. Do you say oil sardines? So that everyone is lying extremely close to another, and that you have to take buses to get here, and that you find corners where there is less going on. But and it is best time to come here. Um, it's warm, it's a bit chilly to go in the water. You can see a few people who have already uh, gone into the, the water, but it's very cold. Still, it's a very good time right now. I just will have to press myself for that. But they still say they think it's beautiful to live here. I don't even know that I say they live here, but yes, I live here. Then I asked them we had to see and they said we should look at the north there's the airbnb because there is it's all how do you call it again on the old part it's so natural and i'm missing the right word for it right now we're just going to move on now we still want to look at the city of ohalia today but first bring back the dogs because i don't want to take them with me too much dress yeah we've been out there with them for a long time now. Yeah, that's just in between and I'm so happy to be here. You don't believe it. I don't want to go back at all. I also said to the people I could imagine living here, but first travel around a bit more and then see what happens. Because you can tell from two days anyway if you want to live somewhere. I have now learned from Madeira because the dogs I had there at the beginning, um, they came true at some point. What means dogs? But I've already made a video about it. Let's see where it takes me in life, people. I don't know. Evening ritual. <laughs> we were at two beaches today. Theoretically, we were even at three, but I told you 
dogs were forbidden at the other one too, but there were also the other people. And generally a lot of dogs ran free there. Then we unleashed them too, and they played a bit, and in the evening we brought the dogs back late afternoon. And they always have siesta here, that's why the shops are open again in the evening. And then we went to just look it up. We went to Santa Eularia. We looked around a bit, went to a few shops, and then took some uh, really cute souvenirs with me first. And I was so happy that they had it because, as I said, I would love to go to the hippie market. There you would have found something like that, I guess. So beautiful. Then, actually, I also forbade myself to buy shell necklaces because I just have enough. But this one has glitter beads in between, and I thought that was really cute. Um, coconut shells, two coconut shells, which look great inside. So pearl-like, you have uh, seen them in all souvenir shops. So I suspect that this is somehow just a mass product. I think it's handmade, I guess so, right? Can you make something like that by machine? I don't know, that's really nice. I had red first, but then I found it in purple, I love purple, with such a cute little elephant inside. I also have one or two coconut bowls at home, but only in the original, original state. Then another chain, I also found it very cute with a little turtle. Oh, that's so stupid, but I saw it and I knew, yes, that will be an, a big shirt with a big glitter star on it. I swear to you, if you combine it well, it looks really cute, definitely. And in real life, it just glitters so much. A nice memory, it says Ibiza underneath. And last but not least, we were in a shop named Spirit of Ibiza. Such cute things. If you love gems and stuff like that, then you will like this shop. I took two rings with me and a chain hanger. I just think it's a really nice memory. You can also give it to your kids later if you have some at some point. That was also the thing um, when I was alone with a camper in Italy. I also went to a shop and then I thought, should I really go in there? It was a pharmacy and I was just passing by and then my head was rattling and I thought to myself, go in. And then I got myself a bracelet and now I have it with me. Wait, it's here. That was this great gem. And that's also a really nice memory and I'm very happy that I still did that. Then I found this beautiful ring there. It looks like a moonstone or something, but I'm not sure. Then of course a star little star ring. I was very sincere between all the rings with the stones. Um, and then suddenly there was only a star ring. Then I took a necklace charm with me. It just reminds me of Ibiza and my mother because everything was sun, the sun she loves. I don't know. I can't explain it right now. Looks like this and I am going to put a necklace on it. And they also had an elephant in 3D like, and I thought to myself, should I get the elephant or the sun? Um, I found this elephant so beautiful and I also searched for an elephant like this, more or less. I thought if I see something like this, I'm going to take it with me, but then I saw the sun and thought my connection to the sun is a bit bigger. They also had moons and I thought to myself, should I get a moon? It was really hard to decide. And I said to my mother, if I'm ever in India or where elephants are, where I am, I'm going to take an elephant necklace with me. I also said you need to come back to Ibiza when it's summer for a weekend to party. But I'm so happy that it's deserted right now. I'm happy that we are at the right time here and it's still nicely warm. Then it's all real Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We are flying back. So sad, I didn't want to. Of South Africa, Bobby. Yeah, I wanted to create a hyper realistic.
bin einfach hier gelaufen, habe mich nach dem Hund umgedreht und zack, alles nass. Hello. So, let's reflect on the day again. able to support myself well Got then we stayed there for a while and walked the dogs um, near the airbnb it was so random you saw it that there was a pool in the middle of the forest it's very random there's no hotel there's just a like a huge parking spot um in the forest i don't know don't know why there's an empty pool <laughs> lost place pool we drove again to the city Santa Eulalia was it called Santa? Yeah. yes Santa Eulalia yes you can call me crazy but I couldn't get my thoughts of a certain necklace charm <laughs> as you know I bought the sun and I thought I need the moon to already saw it yesterday it shimmers so beautifully you can really tell now um, but then I'm going to put a chain on it and it's such a nice memory together with the Sun then we looked around and went to another shop which I also saw yesterday that's in here you can hang it somewhere with mirrors and stars and I found it so beautiful that I bought it actually I would have liked to take more with me and fill the door with them but I thought one was enough for now then we went further to another city called Ivisa I wanted to go there because of a certain store because of a niche perfumery I have become a fan of different unusual perfumes and I saw that there is a niche perfumery I went in there and said I have an order I'm looking for an unusual special perfume luckily they could speak English first I got two women there and then quite fast there was another employee who heard what it's about and then he came to me he had such good expertise and was extremely knowledgeable he could also understand German couldn't speak but understand it it was like a bar where you can sit and they showed all the perfumes to you and they were so friendly 
sometimes you know from niche perfumeries that they are a bit snooty and you don't feel so comfortable sometimes that wasn't the case there they were so lovely listened to you and picked out the perfect scents when you had like an idea what you are looking for I asked him if he knows the company Zoologist um, these are fragrances that are crazy I have two of them one of this is Snowy Owl and it smells like the habitat mm, so there are different animal scents that should smell like the habitat from the respective animal I have Snowy Owl and it really smells like snow what does snow smell like? I don't know but when you smell it, you know why one said it smells like snow after a clearing, after the cold simply beautiful he also has a fragrance bee or honey was it bee or honey? I don't know um, but it smells completely like honey but so authentic and I asked if he knew him out of pure interest and he said yes if you love this one I have the perfect one for you and named uh, Mad Honey of a Korean company which is new to the market born to stand out Mad Honey honey mixed with rose it smells fabulous it's unbelievable I also got a sample because I bought something there already forgot the name of it but I'm so grateful the other one was quite expensive too and I thought to myself mm, no, I can't get another one um, and he showed me a molecule fragrance I don't know what is this from DS and Dorga that was also really good then I wanted to smell it, a teak fragrance for a long time Le Papier and it smelled so milky and like a certain rice it was so good too and then he showed one to me the same company as Mad Honey from the same company and this smelled so good oh my god I tell you never get into the perfume game because it makes you addicted and that is not nice for really real you can check them out it's called Papa Duke on Instagram it's not a paid ad but just recommendation if you ever visit Ibiza and are searching for a nice perfume niche perfumery because they have special ones oh and before I forget Phantom V from Beaufort the man said imagine you are in Germany it rained and you walk next to a flower shop then he sprays it and it smells authentic like a flower shop where it rained shortly before pure madness I tell you that to this I need to make a whole video about it forgot to show you but I also took vanilla incense sticks with me I love incense sticks but vanilla I don't know yet I took spoons with me because that are maybe the perfect spoons for making ASMR sounds and what I wanted to have for such a long time what I found randomly this brush sounds great if you push it onto the mic it was so cool in this perfume shop this is an experience you don't make if you don't go into such a shop it's really something special normally my social anxiety kicks in when something like this happens but they were just so nice it was really nice after the store we wanted to see the sunset but the sun already set when we were done there and in the town which is directly there it was like two minutes away um, but found no parking spot so we come back with a bit more time because it was already 8 p.m. and then we have a look 
tomorrow there's also a nice castle. I'm talking for 14 minutes now. How long should this vlog be? I'm so sorry. Now we are back at the beach where we were on day one Because I wanted to film two videos It's so beautiful here Is it okay? And the crazy thing is that you are alone Also on the first day here with just two people and I thought, okay, it's so beautiful, let's drive there again on the last day and see if I can film two videos there and no one is here, maybe it's too cold for the locals and also for the tourists, I don't know I was in the water, let's see if you are going to see that It's a dream the water is crystal clear, there's also another little bay, but the water is just a dream. Going to enjoy it here. And then we're heading home tomorrow. Can't believe it. Way too short. Today we were at another beach first because we thought, okay, let's check out a new one and see if I can film there. But there was a construction site and four people. <laughs> and I thought, okay, let's try out the other one because it's a bit cuter, smaller bay. And it was a good decision. Headed back there and now we are here. In the evening we are going to the city and I'm going to look at the party My, you have to come back to the big party um, I don't go to party often, not a party mass, but I imagine it so nicely It's not for nothing that there are always so many parties here So guys, I hope I can give you some warmth and 
you can enjoy it as much as I do or maybe it will inspire you to travel more let me know if it does anything to you and let's continue with the vlog Auf geht's noch mal in der Stadt. Da fühlt sich mir das Oberteil an. Und einfach eine Leggings. Weiß ich jetzt nicht, wie gut das zusammenpasst. Aber das ist gerade irgendwie am chilligsten. Und ich baue es gerade chillig. Und oben rum schick. Noch mal einmal die letzte Aussicht hier genießen. Wunderschön, wirklich. Hm, Nochmal die Sonne auftanken. Ich brauche einen Camper, definitiv. Ich will wieder on the road sein. Am Suchen bin ich. The suitcases are packed and heading back home tomorrow. Going to make the outro now because I don't want to film when it's so stressful tomorrow. If the sky looks beautiful or something on the plane, then 
says, what's up? Then I'm going to share it. But come here. As you saw, we were at the beach and it was so nice. It was really nice to be able to unwind again. Yeah. <laughs> to enjoy this moment and also my jump in the cold water. That was really refreshing and really interrogated me again and made a life. After we brought back the dogs and drove back to Ibiza and looked around the city there was a real knight's castle and also it's also a world cultural heritage site I hope that's right um, that was so interesting and you felt like you were in the middle ages and then I went to a shop and this shop was my downfall <laughs> if I can't go to the hippie market I hit the shop no, I bought a lot, I don't know how to say it in English um, I bought not a lot, but they had a lot of gems and didn't get one because I already have some and maybe if I come back then I get a gem um, but I got great things which I'm going to show you quickly I got myself a notebook even if I make rarely any notes I have to admit but I found this so beautiful they had a lot of colors and I chose for this how nice does this look? And also, it smells like the shop they also had incense sticks. And then I thought this wallet was so beautiful and green, and with all the characters and things on it. Inside is a bracelet which I put there. As you know, I also brought a bracelet from my camp to with me, and maybe I make this as a tradition. Others collect magnets. I always take a bracelet with me now. <laughs> um, with the moon and stones, so beautiful. Very nice for a smart purposes. I got a bracelet, another bracelet. Because it makes great sounds, they also had beautiful wind chimes that I didn't take with me. Um, this is red, and I want to let it like this. In the video, I saw it. It's a fairy under a mushroom. I love fairies, and I love mushrooms, and this screamed my name. And my highlight. I don't know whether I hang it in the camper when I have one, or hang it up at home, or put it on a dresser, or I don't know where. It costs 55 euros and I couldn't say no to it I said to myself, do I really need it? do I really want to have it? but this is such a nice memory cloth, blanket, whatever it's called it glitters and all the colors I found it so pretty and I would definitely have regretted if I take it, didn't take it with me I could have taken all the stuff with me there they had also nice balls, tulip boxes and absolutely beautiful pillowcases I had to pull myself together, don't know how to say it in English too. I hope that you like this vlog. Let me know how you like the vlog. Have you been to Ibiza already? I fell in love again and could move here tomorrow. But I learned from Madeira. You need to wait a little bit and see how it goes. So no worries, I don't move tomorrow first the camper and then I'm going to have a look around the world Mooney and I we say bye I hope they take you with us tomorrow because this friends waste a little too much but it's going to work out because the other one dog wastes less going to say bye until the next video or vlog